Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sean Purgal. I'm a manual osteopath and today I want to speak about a high income career for high school graduates in Canada. And that profession is manual osteopathy. We teach a diploma program in manual osteopathy at National Academy of Osteopathy Canada since June 2010. When we founded us, uh, the NAO in, in Toronto, the professional manual osteopathy was available only to, high, uh, to health professionals such as massage therapists, chiropractors, uh, doctors and physiotherapists. We changed that. We started accepting high school graduates because we wanted to expand osteopathy worldwide and we understood that we cannot just rely on health professionals to do so. After we uh, accepted high school graduates, we were able to uh, expand the profession to 72 countries around the world. We have now become the largest provider of manual osteopathic education in the world. Even in Canada, over half of the manual osteopaths in English-speaking Canadian provinces are, are alumni, are graduates. We expanded the profession even to territories and provinces in Canada that they did not have manual osteopathic care available like Yukon, Northwest Territory, Prince Edward Island, Newfoundland and Labrador. All the manual osteopaths working there now are graduates. And that is, that happened because we opened the profession to the high school graduates. This helped us a lot in expanding the profession. Initially, all of our graduates were health professionals. Now, over 56% of them are high school graduates and they are some of our best students. Manual osteopathy is an amazing health profession. It does wonders in treating chronic pain. Just to give you an example, I founded Osteopathy Chronic Pain Clinics of Canada in uh, September 2017 in three years. We, know, we had one clinic in Toronto and in three years we now have over 330 clinics in 30 countries from Canada, USA, Spain, uh, Singapore, Malaysia, South Korea and so many other countries. And that is exactly because of the ability of our uh, graduates in treating chronic pain. Everybody we hire for this clinic or CPCC clinic, they all are my students at the National Academy of Osteopathy Canada. I also own uh, two universities in the USA, which is the first and only school, uh, school of manual osteopathy in the United States. Another university, National University of Medical Sciences in Spain. I also opened the uh, university, a Spanish language university in Panama, but it's not operational yet. And we only hire our own students for uh, this clinic. And this clinic expands so much because of the, our ability in treating chronic pain. It's a wonderful health profession. You would love it. The, actually, the job satisfaction rate of manual osteopaths in Canada is 98% higher, higher than any other <coughs> excuse me, health profession in Canada. Additionally, research has shown patient loyalty rate to manual osteopath is 97% in Canada, highest, higher than any other health profession in Canada. The second was family physicians and then chiropractic physiotherapy, the massage therapy at around 60%. But manual osteopathy was 97%. Manual osteopathy is a high income career. Manual osteopaths in general charge between 80 to 140 dollars per hour and they can open their own clinics in all Canadian provinces, see patients directly without the need for a referral note from family doctor. Most insurance companies extended health plan insurance that covers for uh, chiropractic, physiotherapy, massage. They also cover for manual osteopathy care provided by our alumni. Uh, this is a recent phenomenon. About a decade or so ago, the uh, insurance companies started to cover manual osteopathy care. And this is because we cleaned up the profession. We elevated the uh, 
profession to a, a higher level, to a standard that was un, uh, unheard before. And now we have associations in Canada that uh, they have a strict membership and to get uh, up, uh, to get the, the license number to build insurance companies, uh, our alumni have to become members of these associations. Some of them have board exams um, that uh, they have to uh, pass to become uh, become member of these associations. Then they get license numbers uh, to build insurance companies. The profession has uh, expanded a lot in the past 10 years because of what we have done. There are countries that never had uh, manual osteopathic care, uh, such as Tanzania, uh, uh, Island of Brunei, Island of Macau, uh, Bermuda. Now they have uh, manual osteopathic care thanks to our students. Uh, as I said, the profession enjoys a high income, uh, a financially high income, they receive emotionally also they enjoy their job a lot because they help patients a lot most manual osteopaths in Canada are fully booked uh, through word of mouth referrals because of their ability in treating chronic pain and that is why they <coughs> in, excuse me they enjoy a, a good income uh, and they can charge a lot uh, while the average average overly fees 80 to 140 dollars our alumni are known to charge a lot more as well for example last year in 2019 Toronto Star newspaper the largest newspaper in Canada chose one of my students Dr. Lisa Egbuga uh, uh, as the number one manual osteopath in Toronto uh, Dr. Egbuga charges $275 an hour for manual osteopathic care. Uh, the, uh, the top 10 uh, manual osteopaths in uh, Toronto as chosen by to, uh, Toronto Star, top three of them were my students uh, uh, in Toronto. Uh, then we have also students like Dr. Thomas Andrew in Bermuda who charges uh, $300 US per hour care in Bermuda. He works in a five star uh, resort we have a uh, that is part of the osteopathic chronic pain clinics of Canada uh, is at the resort is called the reef is a, a luxury resort and he works there as a manual osteopath uh, another student dr. Kenny uh, sorry he's not a doctor he's a physiotherapist Kenny Wong in uh, Malaysia he charges $400 US, US per hour of manual osteopathic care so our students are known to charge more. In Canada, manual osteopaths on average make $90,000 per year in gross income, while our students on average make over $150,000 because uh, our students, uh, they learn a lot about business. What makes our school different from other schools and that is what makes us graduate successful manual osteopath is because we teach them over 200 business lectures. I teach them everything I know about business from tax planning, asset protection, marketing, advertising, public relations, uh, accounting, uh, and so on. I even teach them a lot about how to improve their brain, how to become better human beings, uh, to have a better life, a healthier life, and so, so on. Uh, we focus a lot on creating wealth and creating financial independence because I understood that if I make my students wealthy they others they would hear about that and they would be attracted to study osteopathy and this is how the profession expands and that has worked greatly we even have students like two brothers Iranian brothers in Brampton who are grossing over a million dollar per year but they have a multidisciplinary clinic and uh, some of our students doing amazing. We have uh, young girls, a 25 year old girl in uh, Sudbury who's grossing about 300,000. Another in Alberta, a young girl who's grossing $300,000. Another in Ottawa uh, who was moving out of Canada and uh, he, uh, she, uh, she was selling her clinic and uh, 
I found out that she's making over $250,000 per year, all with minimum expenses. What, what makes uh, our students different from others, uh, and Manuel also, but in general from, different from other professionals, is that uh, in other professions, they spend a lot of money on expenses. For example, chiropractors, over 50% of their income goes for expenses. They have a uh, huge rent. They have uh, to pay for secretary and so on. A lot of money on advertising. While manual osteopath generally, the annual, inc annual expense rate is between 10 to 20% because most of them, they don't rent big offices. They just need one room. Uh, to see the patients, most of them they don't have secretaries. They book the patient book online or uh, through the manual osteopaths themselves. So their expenses is quite low, and uh, as a result, their net income, what they keep in their pocket, is higher than most other health professions in Canada. And that is the beautiful thing. That is how manual osteopathy has expanded so much. We created a great, great profession for high school graduates. No other profession allows uh, high school graduates to make about $150,000 per year and keep most of it as a, as a net income. This is, uh, this is how so many, man, uh, so many high school graduates get attracted to our school. They study at National Academy of Osteopathy where now 56% of our uh, graduates are high school graduates because of amazing income they receive from graduation it makes life beautiful life is a lot more beautiful when you have good income I received this uh, email from one of my students Debbie who was a secretary after she became uh, she became a manual osteopath she went for the first time in her life with her boyfriend to a five-star luxury resort. Uh, I think it was in St. Lucia. And she sent me a beautiful email. She said, Dr. Purgal, money does buy happiness. Please watch my other videos. I explain to you more in detail in other videos what is osteopathy, why money does buy happiness, why we focus so much on wealth creation, and other things you will learn a lot about uh, osteopathy but for now know that uh, you as a high school graduate can study manual osteopathy in Canada in US and other countries we teach uh, a diploma in osteopathic manual practice program you get the title of DOMP uh, we are the copyright owner of uh, the DOMP title in Canada the OMP is the most recognizable title in Canada. Most insurance companies know about it and accept it. It's a purely Canadian title, and we own the copyright to it. National, I, I copyrighted it and gave the copyright to National Academy of Osteopathy. The program for you high school graduates is one year full-time, or you can also study it two years part-time on the weekends, or four years part-time once a month. Uh, there are over 13 uh, osteopathic colleges in Canada. Uh, they offer, many, uh, many of them are accredited. They offer similar programs. Some offer, like us, one year full-time. Others offer three to five years part-time, one weekend a month. There is no four-year full-time manual osteopathy program in Canada. All of them uh, teach about uh, 1,000 hours in total. National Academy of Osteopathy teaches about 2,200 hours. It's the longest uh, DOMP program in Canada. Uh, it's full-time. It's the only accredited full-time program available in Canada. Uh, there is no other accredited manual osteopathy full-time program. The rest, uh, the rest of the programs, they all part-time part programs uh, offering uh, uh, one weekend a month or so. Uh, we are the only accredited uh, osteopathic college that offer online program as well. There is no other accredited online osteopathy program in the world. Having a 
osteopathy program opens many doors for you. Uh, you can even get inside athletic teams because they don't have uh, they don't have manual osteopaths there. Most of people who provide uh, work for athletic teams are athletic therapists. But so as a manual osteopath, you get get you can get inside the athletic team a lot easier. <coughs> Excuse me. I have many uh, Canadian national team members in soccer, swimming, hockey, and others who are our students. We have a. Uh, uh, Jay David in Mississauga, who is now um, uh, the manual osteopath for the Ontario Boxing uh, Association. He goes ringside with medical doctors. He is also the manual osteopath for the Porsche racing team uh, in At uh, uh, Georgia, Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia, in U.S. Uh, but he he's a Canadian. He works in uh, in Mississauga. Uh, he even has a Porsche. Uh, uh, that uh, I love. Uh, uh, it's it's uh, manual osteopathy is an amazing profession. You would love it. It brings you tons of joy and happiness. We treat last resort cases, cases others cannot treat. You can you can treat. Just to give you an example, I have uh, this is student Tony Lee. He, he was a high school graduate, a makeup artist, without any prior health education. He. He came, he uh, studied osteopathy. The first job he got was in a clinic in Markham, uh, east, of, uh, east of Toronto. Uh, the, it was a rehab clinic owned by Dr. Raymond Chang, uh, a medical doctor. And uh, the clinic offered chiropractic uh, rehab, physiotherapy, massage therapy, and acupuncture. The first patient Tony received for treatment was a person who had a car accident six months before and could not walk. His pain subsided a lot, but he could not still walk. Tony walked for two weeks on him and the patient started walking. That's, that's a miracle. I'm grateful to God. Thank you, God, for giving us osteopathy and uh, allowing us to help so many people. The patient walked after two weeks of manner osteopathic treatment. This shocked the clinic owner, Dr. Raymond Chan. He's a medical doctor. He doesn't need to walk osteopathy. But he and his wife both registered for a DOMP program at NAO. They got their diploma. They fall in love with osteopathy. They, then they went and they took the Doctor of Osteopathy program we offer at National University of Medical Sciences in Spain to get the DO to Dr. Chan does not work as an osteopath, but he fell in love. He just wanted to learn more about osteopathy. His wife now works as a manual osteopath. Uh, uh, recently he started to see patients in the clinic uh, because Tony left uh, and he opened his own clinic. You don't see too many manual osteopaths work for others. A, a lot of them work for a year or two, but most end up opening their own clinics. This is the power of manual osteopathy. It does wonders. It's just a beautiful profession. Manual osteopathy was founded by Dr. Steele, American medical doctor over 140 years ago. He was a doctor as a he was a doctor for 20 years as a nat in a native uh, reservation land, uh, working with indigenous peoples, a Shawnee, uh, Shawnee tribe's uh, reservation land. And there he learned the Shawnee tribe body works and Cherokee, Cherokee tribe's body works. Uh, uh, he removed the spiritual parts and botanical medicine parts. He focused on the physical aspect of it that included working on the cranial, working on the visceral, uh, doing type of mobilization, manipulations, hands-on manual therapy. He organized it into a system of care called osteopathy. So manual osteopathy has roots in native, native uh, healing arts and body work. Now in Canada, we have a College of Registered Manual Osteopaths. The president, Dr. Doug Delvin, is a registered psychologist, uh, works in Northwest Territories also. 
uh, um, uh, Manuel Osteopath, one of my students, uh, and uh, they they know uh, have members across Canada, uh, and they accepted by many insurance uh, companies. Uh, uh, the, it's, a, it's a, a very good association, and, uh, and uh, they are trying to promote promote the Manuel Osteopathy across Canada as well, uh, and we work closely with them uh, as well to expand the profession. Uh, Manuel Osteopathy does wonders. Uh, please consider that for your health career, uh, emotionally, the satisfaction you get is unheard of and uh, financially you get a uh, good income between ninety thousand to hundred fifty thousand dollars easily you can make and i'm here to support you my support for my students does not finish for, uh, with their graduations it lasts for life uh, and i'm always here available for them uh, also but it is a beautiful profession you can take it uh, and graduate in one year national academy also already offers two uh, uh, two classes every year in uh, February and uh, September of each year uh, on campus. Our campus uh, uh, is located at the um, York University Heights uh, and uh, we have a clinic there too. Uh, our students do uh, four months of clinical internship there. Uh, you can also, I recommend you to get free visits there. Uh, treatments are free for the general public. It's a waiting list uh, of two to three weeks, uh, but you you will get the uh, appointments. You should try. I recommend you to get treatment by one of our interns to see how good they are. I remember to give you an example of uh, Hilda Fernandez. Uh, this patient came uh, first um, to see one of our interns. She couldn't bent down to tie her shoes for 17 years, had pain for 17 years. One of my uh, interns at that time, a student, Nicholas Zankai, uh, uh, he, he was a high school graduate as well, and later we hired him as one of our professors to, uh, as a technique assistant uh, instructor to help me teach uh, techniques. And uh, he also he saw Hilda in first visit. Hilda came out, came to my class while I was teaching, and in front of all the students, bent down and tied her shoes and told, told us that she couldn't tie her shoes. That's the power of Manuel Osovedi. After 17 years with one hour treatment, uh, Nicholas was able to uh, help this person. We do miracles on, on, on a day to day basis. If you are not in Toronto, if you're in other provinces, we have a Manolo, uh, we have clinicians everywhere, Manol Osteopathy everywhere. Go get a treatment, see yourself. What Manol Osteopathy is, is amazing. We have tons of chiropractors, physiotherapists, massage therapists as students. It is something beautiful. Everybody loves it. Uh, once they have one, one treatment, they become lifelong clients of Manol Osteopathy because it's, it's amazing profession. It's pain-free, it's gentle, we don't use high-velocity manipulation techniques like the way chiropractors use. We use repetitive, gentle, gentle uh, techniques uh, that uh, works on, uh, on the issue. It's very pleasurable for the, for the patients. It, it, it doesn't cause pain, it's not like fast. Uh, and we also teach you so many things about business, how um, to protect your asset, how to reduce your taxes, how to bring patients in, how to do so many things to achieve uh, financial uh, freedom and wealth sooner than others. We teach you how to go get there and get your share from, from the market. This is what makes us separate from other schools. We care about you. We want to make sure you become wealthy, rich, and successful. That's it for today. It's a beautiful day. Look at this beautiful river. Birds singing. I don't know if the sound of the river allows you to hear the birds, but birds singing. 
it's just a beautiful life and um, I'm grateful to God for allowing me to see all this beauty. I'm surrounded by beauty and I'm and God has created this abundance for us. There is abundance of money, love and beauty. You just have to open your eyes, know how to get it and go get it. And I would be honored to be your teacher in your way, in your journey to happiness, to financial freedom. That's it for today. If you have any questions, you can find me on Facebook, facebookcom drpurgol, Dr. Purgol. Uh, send me a message. I love to hear from you, from you. And uh, if you have any questions, you can contact uh, our school. Uh, check our website, nationalacademyofsafety.com, or send an email to admissions at, or sorry, info at nationalacademyofsafety.com to receive our information package that offers you a lot of information about our program. Thank you for watching this video. I love you all and uh, God bless and namaste. Bye for now.